Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing well. This video is on visualization in abacus. In this video, I will be explaining what is visualization, when to start visualization and how to do visualization. So, be with me in this video till the end. So, what is visualization? Visualization is the most important technique in abacus in which student has to solve the sum without using abacus tool, keeping the abacus tool inside their mind. Right? Then let us know when to start visualization, when to start practicing visualization. When in level 2, student can start practicing visualization. Once student become thorough in doing sum using abacus tool in level 1 abacus, they can start solving sums by visualization. Now let us know how to do visualization. At the very beginning step, student has to learn how to do visualization with one star. Here they will learn the single digit direct sum using the one star. Right? Gradually they can move towards double digit direct sum, then they will be able to do the formula based sum. But for doing visualization, finger movement is most important which I am going to teach in this video. Let us first know how to do finger movement for one shred. For doing it, keep the abacus tool in front of you. You do not need to touch the abacus tool. Just looking your abacus tool, you have to imagine or you have to pretend that you are moving the beads on abacus tool from 1 to 9, right? We will be using our right hand for moving the beads at one start from the number 1 to 9, right? When we move the beads at one start for 1, we use our thumb, right? Like this. So, this is 1. For 2, you have to move your thumb little more down. For 3, you have to move down your thumb little more and for 4 like this, right? For 5, you have to close your thumb, you have to open your index. This is 5, this is 6. For 6, you have to keep the gap this much in between your thumb and the index. This is 7, you have to increase the gap. 8, 9. For 9, you have to bring closer both the fingers. This is for 9. Let me tell you one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Once student become thorough with this, you can do this practice without looking at your abacus tool, right? I hope you are clearly understood up to this. Now let us know how to do finger movement for a double digit number. As you all know, for 1 slot we use right hand and for 10 slot we use the left hand. Our first double digit number is 10. For 10, 1 at 10 slot you can keep your thumb like this and 0 at the 1 star. So, 1 at the 10 star and 0 at the 1 star. Then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You can also do 19 like this. For 20, 2 at 10 slot and 0 at 1 slot. You have to imagine that you are moving one more bead at 10 slot. So, 2, 0, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. You can also do like this for 29. 
for 30, 3 at 10 slot and 0 at 1 slot. So, you imagine that you are moving one more bead at 10 slot, this is 3, 0, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. For 40, you have to move your thumb little more down. 4, 0, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, right? Then 5, 0, 50, 5, 0, 50. So, like this you can practice your finger movement. So, by doing this type of finger movement you can practice your visualization. I hope you all are clearly understood what I explained in this video. In the next video we will be solving some one digit direct sum using the visualization technique. Right? If you find this video helpful please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit on the bell icon to get all the notifications of my latest video. Thank you so much for watching.